By default, text in Animate are joined. When we write the text with the text creation tool, we can see that the box is created and we want to convert this text to vectors. We can use Ctrl V or Command V of Mac or right click Break. The first time the program will separate the word into the different letters. The second time you do that, you are going to convert them into shapes. Once the text is converted to shapes, it works exactly the same as when we create a shape. If we have a text created from scratch, we can apply filters and effects to it, like any other object we did animate. For example, we can blur it or we can create a highlight when creating the text. We have different options or formats to choose the one that we are going to choose in the static test. This is the one we use for animation. Many times it is convenient to convert fonts into curves. What does this mean? Convert them to shapes, as we said earlier. This is because it can happen that when we take our file to another computer where the font is not installed and it is replaced by another font, thus losing the design we had devised. We can also animate and rotate the text. We can create horizontal and vertical text. We can save a font to the library and be a font map. To save a font, we just have to open the library, click on this little bar icon that appears in the upper right corner and choose new font. When we choose a new font, it will ask us to identify the font with the name. And below that, we have some options to choose from. This way we will be saving the font inside the file, as if it were a symbol. We can choose all the ones we want to incorporate into the file. Keep in mind that choosing more than one font will make the file a bit heavier. But in any case, it will not be a very significant weight. To create a text, we can open the text tool and click on the stage, which will allow us to start writing, or alternatively, with the text tool, draw a text box on the stage and start writing within a previously limited space. The text, like all the elements inside Animate, have the properties of X and Y, width and height. And in turn, if we display the character section, we will find that below everything, it says smoothing and different options to choose. We can choose to use device sources where the final animation will run. We can choose bitmap text or text without anti-aliasing. Anti-aliasing text for animation or readability. In turn, custom smoothing allows us to define properties such as thickness and sharpness of the text.